Recently, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has informed President Vladimir Putin that the town of Avdiyevka near Donetsk has been taken under full control. Russian Defense Minister Army General Shoigu reported to the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Armed Forces that the center grouping of forces under command of Colonel General Andrei Mordvichev has taken under full control the town of Avdiyevka of the Donetsk People's Republic, which was a massive fortified stronghold of Ukraine's armed forces, Russian Defense Ministry said. Putin described the event as an absolute success and congratulated Shoigu. He also stressed the need for building on the success and preparing sufficient personnel, weapons and ammunition Russia says it had also taken control of Karway and Kewaya village on the Dnipro River's east bank in the southern Kherson region. Last year, Ukraine's military said it had taken the village back. Shoigu said that the systematic transformation of Ukrainian cities into scorched earth will be included in the textbooks of the Ministry of Defense. He said that the city was captured with minimal losses. Meanwhile, pro-war Russian publics complain about large-scale losses of the Russian Federation in offensives. According to Kremlin propagandists, this is still less than the losses that Russia suffered during the capture of Avdiivka. On February 17, the Ukrainian command officially announced the withdrawal of the Ukrainian armed forces from Avdiivka, where the continuous offensive of the Russian invaders continued for four months. It is obvious that Russia took advantage of the moment of legislative uncertainty regarding further assistance to Ukraine from the United States. The situation was worsened by a significant reduction in ammunition in the Ukrainian armed forces in order to repel enemy attacks. According to information from General Alexander Tarnavsky, during all the months of the Avdiivka operation, the Ukrainian armed forces negated more than 47,000 Russian invaders and hundreds of enemy tanks. However, the military is fully aware that for Russia its losses in personnel and equipment mean nothing.